been watching Tucker Carlson lately? Wow, this dude. Wow. He is a study, this guy. And I would encourage you, I'm not saying that everything that he delivers in his opening monologue is sinless <laughs> because some of his snarks, wow, he's absolutely savage, but he sounds different. He sounds genuinely different and he sounds rather aware and I am I, I'm I'm in, I'm just intrigued by how he is presenting himself as an Episcopalian. He says he's an Episcopalian because he loves the liturgy, but he doesn't really like the church. Nevertheless, he is trying to infuse some of his thinking, some of his politics with his Christianity. Really interesting concoction to watch him try to stir up. It's not an easy task. It's not a simple thing to do. And because you, you bring in more than you probably realize when you try to inject Christianity into politics and vice versa. Nevertheless, watching him is an absolute study. And I would encourage you, if you are looking for something to tune into, check out that dude's opening monologue. It's, it's, it's tonally different, and yet it's critical. You could judge that sometimes he goes over the line, maybe a lot. That's worth studying too, isn't it? But I, the tone of it, I think, is at least something worthy of our consideration. How to talk about these issues and those people without sounding so perhaps stern or angry? He del His monologues, I'm telling you, they are, they are truly more stinging than anything I've ever heard come from Sean Hannity, Bill O'Reilly, uh, uh, Laura Ingram. He's just off the chart. But he doesn't sound like he hates everybody. And so.